Are you looking to create a custom email address? Welcome to this episode where I plan on demystifying just that. So I use Google to create a custom email address. So I'm gonna show you step by step by heading over to my PC and you can get a link on how to do this in the description below. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is paste that link that is in my description. It's a it's an affiliate link, so letting you know up front. And then there are different packages that you can get with the uh, link you get. It automatically uh, links to whatever country you're based. So I'm based in Ireland at the moment. So that's why it's in euros. So I'm just gonna choose the cheapest one available. The nice thing that I like about Google, um, you can have video participants up to 100 people and it's not timed um, like some of the other platforms. And another thing is you can record with the higher platforms. So that's why I choose the Google platform. So you click on get started. You put on the business name. So I'm using this for my academic, my academic career. So I, that's what I generally use. And then you just say just you, or you can say two to nine people. The region is important because it's linked to taxes. So make sure you get the, select the correct region. I'm gonna leave mine as island because that's one base. Then you say name, you put in your email address. And then they're gonna see if you already have one, a workspace. Then you can either sign in and add on that email address or you can create a new workspace account. So I'm gonna create a new one because I don't want it to clash with my music. And then does your business have a domain? And then you can say, no, I need one. But let's just see what it says here. Domain is, domain is the thing at the end, at whatever. So that's the name of the website. So I need a new one too, so no, I need one. So you have to search for the domain that you're looking for, ahakula.com. It's available and that's 12 euros, 12 euros a year which is fairly cheap um, and you can go next and then you put in the business information. So this is the information where the business is registered. Um, okay, let me just get rid of that at the bottom. So I'm just gonna put in all these details quick. And then once you get those new details, you come over here, how you'll sign in. So you put in your username and password. I'm gonna have to do this again. And then once you've set up the workspace, it'll load and create the whole thing. So you get the business starter. So you get a promotional trial for 14 days. So I'm gonna try it for 14 days. Um, and then obviously if I like it, then I keep it. If I don't, then bail. So try for 14 days. And then you, it gives you a summary of everything. So it gave, since I don't have a domain already, it gives me, that's how much it costs per annum to keep my domain. And then this is how much the starter is, six euros per month. Then you add all the other information. So it's a business account, tax information. It's a business, I'm not exempt for that. Put in the details. And then you add your credit card information. Then once you've set it up, this is the screen that you will see you're on your way. So how do you get to your emails? You say, go to your Gmail and then it'll open the workspace. So the first thing you have to do is you can allow the features. So the first thing I like doing is I keep the smart features for the beginning. Then I go next, personalized products, meet data, or I use limited versions. So I keep it there personalize your Google experience. Then you click done. Then it shows you basically the startup, start chatting, start going live, reload. And that's it. You've now got a new email address. Pretty simple to set up. And then you can get going. It's that simple. If you found this useful, don't forget to head over to the link in the description and in the comments to set up your own custom email domain.